Hello viewers, welcome to my channel ITJ Olympiads and AP Physics with Ambarish. So today I have brought one more problem from, pa from Pathfinder. This is uh, Laws of Motion uh, MCQ 27. Uh, it turns out this problem is not very difficult. Most of you will be able to solve this problem on your own. Uh, however, still I chose to do this problem because I wanted to illustrate uh, an innovative use of the idea of effective gravity and also uh, tell you the application of when we can apply effective gravity and what does effective gravity actually mean and you'll see that that simplifies a lot of things so without much ado let me straight away get into the problem for today so here's the challenge uh, i don't know whether i should call it a challenge because almost every one of you will be able to solve but the idea is to do it in a short and sweet manner okay so Here's the problem. A homogeneous bar of mass m is released from rest on a fixed inclined plane of inclination theta above the horizontal as shown. So this is a bar which is placed on an inclined plane and uh, this much is uh, rough and uh, this part is smooth. Okay. So uh, okay. fixed inclined plane of inclination theta above horizontal as shown. The upper part of the plane shown in dark grey is not frictionless. Uh, uh, that's uh, it is rough okay not frictionless means it has friction okay and the lower part shown in the light gray is frictionless so this part is frictionless and this part is rough okay coefficient of friction between the bar and the upper part of the plane is mu so here the coefficient of friction is given as mu what will be the maximum tensile force in the bar while it is sliding on the inclined plane acceleration of free fall is g and then we have four options uh, 0, 0 0.25 mu, mu mg cos theta, 0.5 mu mg cos theta and mu mg cos theta. Okay. So if you want you can give it a try. I will present my analysis right away. So uh, first of all even before I begin to analyze this problem I want to uh, state what do we mean by effective acceleration due to gravity. So uh, you know that gravity is a force which is proportional to mass. So if there is a particle of mass mi the force on that particle is mi into g the gravitational force now it turns out not just gravitational force there can be several other forces which can just be proportional to mass for example uh, the um, uh, the pseudo force in a translating accelerated frame will be proportional to mass on any particle or for that, that matter uh, in certain cases like buoyant force uh, this can be equivalently applied so what do we mean by effective acceleration to gravity when there are several fact forces acting on particles of a system such that all of them are proportional to mass of particles of the system we can club together all of them and find net force per unit mass and call it g effective or effective acceleration due to gravity okay so now coming to the current problem you see uh, here uh, suppose uh, this has slid some distance let us say x distance is on the smooth portion and l minus x distance is on the rough portion now this will have some acceleration right this will have some acceleration so my idea is i can uh, just uh, uh, suppose if at if it has some acceleration a i can go into an accelerated frame a a frame which is accelerating with a and uh, instantaneously and having same velocity as this uh, block in such a frame this will appear to be at rest but then i'll have to apply pseudo force and you know that pseudo force is going to be proportional to the mass of any uh, element small element so everywhere the pseudo force will be proportional to the mass of every element right so pseudo force can be just clubbed into effective gravity moreover there will be any particle will experience an mg sin theta downward so that is also a force that is proportional to mass and then every particle uh, i mean if you consider sufficiently thin rod so any element will also experience a frictional force uh, on the rough portion that will be equal to mu mi g uh, cos theta so that is also proportional to uh, mass of the ith portion ith uh, uh, element of the uh, this bar okay so uh, we have several forces which are all proportional to mass so we can t talk about effective gravity right so first of all i have found the uh, combined acceleration of this bar the net acceleration you see uh, there is mg sin theta acting downwards so uh, here comes the force mg sin theta and then mu mg cos theta is acting only on this much right so mass of this will be how much mass of this since length is l minus x and total length is l so fractional length is l minus x upon l and then mu into m into l minus x by l into g cos theta upon m this becomes the uh, acceleration of this bar net force divided by net mass being pulled okay now what happens when we have uh, 
uh, when we can talk about acceleration due to uh, I mean effective acceleration to gravity we can compare the situation to a situation similar to a rope hanging under uniform acceleration to gravity so you know that whenever a rope is hanging under the effect of uniform acceleration to gravity the tension increases monotonically so from here to here the tension increases monotonically depending on whether acceleration to gravity is downward or acceleration to gravity is upward so uh, in uh, normal cases acceleration to gravity is downward so tension keeps on increasing if acceleration were upward then the tension would increase in the other direction right so now uh, this uh, can this information can help us do this problem rather quickly you see uh, we know that uh, this portion will have some effective acceleration due to gravity because uh, there is no friction acting here and the uh, upper portion will have some other acceleration to gravity because there is frictional force also acting uh, per unit mass but one thing is for sure that tension will either tension will be monotonic uh, i mean uh, in the lower portion tension also will be increasing monotonically increasing or decreasing that we see and similarly in the upper portion also the tension will be monotonic whether increasing decreasing that we, we can see so uh, what about the tension at the end points you see the tension at the last element here the tension must be zero why because the last element is almost massless so frictional force is negligible here on the element itself the frictional force is negligible and the uh, mg sin theta part is also negligible and mass is negligible therefore the tension must be also negligible here similarly at the other top end also the tension must be negligible right uh, for the same reasons so that means here the tension cannot be maximum here also the tension cannot be maximum and from here to here the tension has to vary monotonically and from there to here also tension must vary monotonically so from this we can directly infer that maximum tension must occur at the interface of the rough surface rough uh, i mean the portions of the uh, bar on the rough the rough portion and the uh, smooth portion right so that's what i have written so a uh, lot of things i have written let me read them quickly so whenever forces can be modeled as effective gravity tension would vary monotonically along length of the rope now we consider consider the rope from an accelerated frame moving with acceleration a in such a frame rope appears at rest rope or whatever bar appears at rest okay also the real and pseudo forces are directly proportional to mass elements on the smooth section so we can have some effective of gravity uh, effect, effective gravity g for the smooth section similarly for the rough section frictional forces pseudo forces and gravitational forces are all proportional to elemental masses we can define effective gravity say g2 for that part okay so g1 is for the smooth part and g2 is for the up, uh, rough part since the bottom most element has negligible mass the tension here must be zero as i said since the top most element has negligible mass the tension there also must be zero and since the variation of tension is monotonic maximum tension must occur at the interface of the segments on rough and smooth section so lo lot of things about logic i've said so far i have not done much of calculation except for calculating the acceleration and now i know that maximum tension must occur here so uh, what i'll do i'll just find the tension over here i'll find the effective gravity and or rather i can just consider the fbd of this part and uh, uh, so what is that so if if we consider up to length x so fractional mass becomes x by l into mg i mean the uh, the force downward force becomes x by l into mg sin theta and minus tension t is equal to x by l into ma and a i have already found in equation 1 you can see we had found a over here and this a i can substitute and then i can solve for t so that's what i have done so i have solved for tension so that comes out to be mu mg cos theta by l square into x into l minus x now this is the function of x and as the bar slides down the plane x varies with time so i want to find the maximum tension so what i need to do i just differentiate this with respect to x and put that equal to 0 so for maximum tension dt by dx equal to 0 and that gives us uh, x is equal to uh, it should have been l by 2 not 2l it should have been l by 2 okay and if you put that value of x over here so we have an l square and then this becomes l by 2 into l by 2 so l cancels off and you are left with 0.25 mu mg cos theta okay so that was my analysis for the problem i hope you uh, understood the concept of effective gravity and how to apply in certain problems and uh, i hope that this video was useful for you and if you found this video useful please do give it a thumbs up and please uh, share this video with your friends through whatsapp telegram discord or whatever medium you use for networking with them 
and most importantly if you have not already subscribed to my channel please do subscribe to my channel right away because that's what keeps me motivated to do a new video frequently uh, okay and thanks a lot for watching this video and i'll see you in the next one and as always god bless you all thank you